Okay, here's my uh, second box bed engine, or uh, call it mill engine, I guess. And uh, it's 36 inches long, 15 inch flywheel. Built all the parts for it, except for some of the little oilers and things like that. I didn't build those. And there's an old oiler here, it's an antique oiler. The flywheel governor I built. Turn on, I'm just using this 20 inch boiler here. Just turn on the valve and see if she takes off. Beautiful. I have an antique one like this that I've kind of deconstructed and made all the parts from it. Castings, I made all the castings. So I didn't cast them. I, I had them cast, but I built the pattern for it. I had them cast. Exhaust is right here. Beautiful engine, runs really nice. This is my second one. It's, the auction is just for the engine, not the hose and not the boiler. One inch shaft. I left enough room here to put a big uh, pulley on it to run an alternator. I had one go out like that. Some trick there. Cross slide, I built all the parts for the cross slide. Machined everything. Uh, let's see, it's um, three inch bore, four inch stroke. Creates about, oh, I don't know, three or four horsepower, depending on the boiler pressure. I'll open it up here a little bit more. This engine's brand new. So, beautiful. So it's what's called a mill engine, or a box bed engine. I'm just playing with a throttle here. Can exhaust, uh, take that exhaust and run it up the stack of a boiler. That will increase the draft on the boiler. And that's about it. 20 inch boiler. I build this one sold though. And once again, it's just a auction, it's just for the engine and the oiler. Of course, the governor and all that, too. And it'll run on 20, 25 pounds of pressure. It's brand new, like I say, but it's up to about 55 right now on this boiler. Somebody wants a boiler, I'll build them a new one.